Who compares her journalism to the action of the woodpecker forever hammering at the tree, trying not to knock it down, but to make it grow straighter? But for everything we do, we still apply a simple principle. The power of truth is stronger than anything else. When I was the editor of the Philippine Collegian, and that is the student newspaper of the University of the Philippines a long time ago, our motto was, to write is already to choose. Ms. Hushuli, as the Philippines Daily Inquirer has described her, has been an inspired choice for the Roman Magsaysay Award, and I quote, a bright light in the darkness of fear and ignorance. We have to keep asking ourselves in these changing times, what is the mission of journalists? The answer is the same. Take a critical view of matters, stay, stay informed, and promote rational discussions. This still matter. A solid media investigation is always the best way to guard the public's right to know. Professional journalism is still vital to enhancing social transparency, and professional journalists are still in short supply because there is a career that involves devoting one's life to critical thinking and always digging. When China was celebrating the construction of its high-speed railway system, which was built very fast, Cai Xin probed what was behind the feet. We found the chronic, chronism, problematic train parts, flawed signal system, and more. In the Philippines, we have a huge area where we are forgiven mistakes. In fact, we find excuses for mistakes. Do not waste press freedom on careless reporting, because we will lose the trust. We will lose the credibility. And without the trust and credibility, all the freedom will be for celebrity news, for promoting officials and what they want to claim. We will have lost that particular purpose for which we are protected in our constitution. The reason being that every system requires some feedback from its environment. And journalism has always functioned as a stable mechanism for feedback, which allows the system to reflect upon its own problems and its own crisis, and, and to see itself without feedback that journalism in other societies performs so wonderfully and so effectively, a system is bound to have so many blind spots. What this shows is a dangerous perception that more and more, the sense of responsibility of journalists is inversely proportional to the democratic space that the press enjoys. Meaning, and here we're talking about perception, that the more freedom the press enjoys, the less, resp the less responsible it tends to become. This has led to a dangerous corollary that states that Imposing more restrictions and regulations on the press will result in a more responsible and responsive media. Of course, nothing can be further from the truth. It is true that challenges to press freedom bring out the best in many of us, but not in all of us. It sharpens our attitudes and focuses our values, um, but responsibility, we think, is something that is not to be imposed uh, by a government. It is. Uh, uh, especially a government that is the one body that bears the greatest responsibility 
and requires the most attention by watchdogs. Unfortunately, we have, uh, we have all had a role in fostering these perceptions. Manila's press is seen as free and freewheeling, drunk in its democratic space, but at the same time rambunctious and licentious. So it is a perception that we in the Philippine media must correct. But the only way to correct it is by showing that we are worthy of the freedoms that some of us have fought for and most of us have just inherited. Now, you, a while ago, you also talked about your mission as a journalist, that is to take critical view of matters, to stay informed, to promote rational discussions, um, uh, that investigation, uh, good investigation is still the best way to guard the public's right to know. Uh, and that professional journalists are needed uh, who will devote their life to critical thinking. Um, we think that your experience and the experience of China's journalists remind us of many of our local journalists in the provinces who need to tiptoe carefully around local clans, local politicians, warlords, and like, who on the one hand, these local uh, reporters, try to report the truth as best as they can, try to spark public debate, try to enhance the local discussion in the public sphere, while at the same time trying to stay free and try to stay alive. Uh, in the end, um, I think that there's much that we can learn from your example, that first of all, courage is good, but prudence is better and excellence is best. <laughs>